Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik. Today's Active Tip takes a look at how you can use Spotlight. So I used to have students sometimes cover up the answer choices with their hand when they were looking at the question. So that way they could look at the questions before they read the passage. Covering them up with your hand isn't really technologically savvy. There's a great way to do this right in Active Inspire. I'm going to change this first to be the fit to width. This is just um, some multiple choice items that I got from the Pennsylvania Department of Education as a PDF, and I imported them into Active Inspire. Now, the first thing I might want to do is cover up the right answer here. Excellent. All right. So I created a shortcut to use the Spotlight tool. Let me show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you how I created this shortcut. So the spotlight blacks out the whole page, except for what I want to focus student attention on. And here's the question. What does a speaker compare glistening boots to in New Year's Snowbird? Now the students can look for the answer in the text without getting stuck on what the answers to the questions are in the answer booklet. Spotlight is great because I can change its size in any direction. And I can also make it a circle instead of a square. I can also do the opposite, where I create a solid circle and it blacks out one piece of information. So I could use this just to cover up some of the answers. Or I can create a solid square. Let me close my spotlight and I can show you some preferences for a spotlight. First of all, you can get there by going to Tools and clicking on Spotlight. And there it gives you all those four options. You can also set this up in your preferences so that it automatically happens when you first go to this page. You're going to click on Property Browser and you're going to click on Tools. And right here you're going to select Spotlight Tool. Now this will automatically pop up in this page when you turn to this page. And you can choose what type you'd like it to be. And then if I go back a page, I can set this up to have tools off. And as I flip to this page, my spotlight will automatically come up. I can also create an action which brings the spotlight tool up. And now I'm in design mode. And you can see this has a red square around it. If I go to the actions browser and I click on current selection, I can see that it brings up the square spotlight. And when I hit apply changes and go back to presentation mode with this snowflake up here, When I click on it, it brings up that Spotlight tool. To close my Spotlight, I'm going to click on this little menu right here and push Close. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our resources at our website and take a look at our professional development courses and workshops.